So today, we are putting together the greenhouse. There are two parts to the greenhouse. There's the acrylic part and there is the wooden part. The acrylic pieces need to be screwed to the wooden pieces. So right now, Jack is using a drill bit to drill through all the acrylic pieces and then also drill through all the wooden pieces. And then we have to drill the screws into those and hope it does not crack. And then the next step after that is to glue the whole thing together. What me and Seth did was we took Gorilla Glue and we have glued together uh, one, two, three, four, four of the wooden pieces. And then we're leaving one side off right now so we can make some final edits to it to attach an Arduino box. Then also we need to put the acrylic top on it later, but we're also gonna save that for later. We just laser cut the top of our Arduino casing for our greenhouse. Uh, it's gonna house an Arduino, uh, which is going to uh, interact with a few sensors that will be able to monitor the different plants inside the greenhouse, tell you when you need to water them or open the top because it's too humid. Um, and then it's going to use an LCD, which we have here, a hole cut out for in our top of our Arduino case. It's going to use this LCD to tell the user uh, all of the information they need to know about their many plants that they are growing. There will be an LCD screen on the top, and then there will be this button right next to the LCD screen. And what will happen is, um, this will be on the outside so you can press it while the wires are going and connecting to the breadboard so we don't have the breadboard flush against the top of the screen. We soldered on the connection points here. Uh, basically these connection points are going to connect back to the breadboard because normally this button would be connected to the breadboard but we need this button off the breadboard so we can press it on the front panel of the Arduino box so users can easily access the different kinds of plants they want so that it tells the program that hey we need uh, the settings for rosemary and thyme rather than we need a tomato plant settings because plants naturally have different needs. So we laser cut a box we just did a front side um, which has the LCD screen and a button on it that screws into uh, about 24 uh, side pieces so they're on each side, so there's, it's basically the spot box is split in half with 24 stacked pieces of wood. And then there's a bottom with some wings on the side to attach and screw into the greenhouse. And um, we got the Arduino and the breadboard to just barely fit in. So it works, it's all put in a box and we're just waiting to attach it onto the greenhouse. So today was the final day of building. Uh, the project is due tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And so what we needed to do was put all of the pieces of the greenhouse together. So that includes the walls and the Arduino, which also goes in a case. So um, today was a little bit of using drill bit pieces to drill more holes into the walls and super gluing everything together and then making sure the Arduino box went into the greenhouse. Final thing is just to put the plants in and turn on the Arduino and I'm not sure when that's gonna happen. Uh, well we need to actually get the soil moisture sensors in the soil uh, of some plants and then we'll start getting readouts of uh, how, how moist or dry that soil is and then we will have to start updating the code to work with those different kinds of plants since we don't have any data to work off yet. 